Hello. Let Discord know we're live and we'll hop right into it. So we wrap up this dang file. One second. Ugh. some sound too this time it to the Pokemon Championship Turner sup Nick oh it's his walking noise okay nope not yet my phone won't load them I'll load the page, but it won't, uh... Well, she's a pool. It won't load the... pictures. It'll just say loading images forever. What's up, game guy? I would, but that means I have to open my Discord, and then my computer will crash. I already blue screened once just trying to start it up. <laughs> I'd love to have a computer that isn't balls, but you know. If you link them in chat, in chat, I can check them out. It's good to see you too, Game Gun. Connect, bish. Connect. Connect, bish. Connect. And I think the first game I'm gonna play, the first new game I'm gonna play next year is a Switch game. Well, it's a Wii U port. It's the Fire Emblem, like, crossover game? It's like a Fire Emblem Shin Megami Tensei crossover type of thing. It's like, kind of musical concert based. Let's see, click, click, click. TMs? Nani? Oh, uh... 
I forget what it's called. It was on the Wii U. It's like concert music, Fire Emblem. I think it's like FS or something. I was just looking at it too. Out of those, go Mind Flayer for sure. Yes, thank you, say Yes, yes. Took you Mirage Sessions. It's gonna be out on uh, the Switch on January seventeenth. Uh, Wanted to play it when I was on Wii U, but I didn't have a Wii U, so. Censoring. I'm curious. Bug buzz, please. Bug buzz. Cool. Well, I look forward to doing some exchanging. I actually just found out tonight that tomorrow is, you know, uh, my free check for work. But we also got a Christmas bonus, and it's coming with that. So instead of it being like a $700 check, it's like an $1,100 check. So I'll be able to go out on Monday when I wake up and buy everyone's gifts. Alright, nice. What'd you get, Jack? Oh, interesting sign. Look how it mistreats its uh, performers? Or how it Exploits them for less than family friendly desires, as we would say. Oh, gotcha, say. <laughs> oh no, boobies! I can't sell a game with boobies! <laughs> Guys, it's the new Pikachu of this game. Bug buzz. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I'd still like to play it though, just because it looks fun. I guess I, have to just, I guess I have to see what else comes out in January before I decide, though. Did they think the Western audience couldn't handle it? <laughs> well, there you go, Nick. 
I kind of... Well, at least she had five Pokemon. I kind of wish that everybody in the tournament would come out with, like, their best six. And they're doing... They're in this tournament to become champion. Corbinite's, like, the worst matchup for this guy. <laughs> His poison won't do nothing to him. He's weak to, you know, flying. Grimmsnarl, Vigavolt! <laughs> yeah, you did, Nick. Dang it. It's okay, I didn't do it either. I like the idea of Grimmsnarl, but I feel like they kind of blew his design. He's too sinewy. So I like the idea of them trying to dip into like meaner looking fairy types. Do it now? What you're doing now? Go for it! They aged up a lot of the characters. Oh, weird. But tell me this guy. Is it, despite censorship, is it a fun game? See, he looks fine this way. If this was his normal design, I would have gotten him. Yeah. Gameplay is the same. To me, it looked fun. Hard to stream? Okay. Ouch. Of course he gets a crit. That's so fucking stupid. Oh my god. That's so annoying. By the way, if you don't spam like raid battles, like the first playthrough, you know, we did a bunch of raid battles and stuff, so we had all these candies. If you kind of don't focus on raid battles too much, you notice how my character's team is, instead of like 65, it's. 53. The game's a little more challenging, because things can actually hurt you more easily. So, it's been a little more entertaining combat-wise. Man alive! What's with him getting fucking crits every hit? Go down. Go down, Tiger. His yeah, weakness so exploit system is having other characters too. So chain attacks, chain more attacks. I know you don't have to eat the candy, but it's free candy. Me too. I like that they don't just give you a fudge ton of XP just on whatever Pokemon you used. But they give you like the option. Nice. Yeah. So this playthrough, I've been enjoying the the battles more because they've been closer. So I enjoy it when you know when I get lose, you know, like half my team or you know most of my team in like a really cool battle.
if he still leads with his little baby, little baby, uh, flu flu. We'll uh, roll with Jellicent first. Hey, Greasy. I think, you know, because the only reason I don't even, like, you know, feel inclined to, like, do raid battles to just bump up my whole team. The only I find them as, like, a really nice way of, like, helping mitigate some of the grinding for when you get, like, a new team member and you're like, oh, this new Pokemon I have is, like, 20 levels down. So instead of just running through grass and doing fights over and over, which is what I'm used to and fine with, but it's nice to have, like, something else to help speed up the process and also give you, you know, different attacks and stuff to earn, and different berries, so there's like a lot of nice things that the raids do without it being, you know, a crutch, I think. It's a nice way to help mitigate some uh, late game grinding. So I don't know about you, but when I get have like a f team of five, then I can find like a Pokemon basically, you know, around Gym 8 or to the Elite Four. And it's like, I gotta get this guy up. It's gonna take a decent amount of time. Oh, do they? Mm. Interesting. And you would. You would. <laughs> Punk? Mustache, jellyfish. Let's ice beam him, see if we can get a freeze. Zen headbutt. Oh, I forgot about Zen headbutt! <laughs> I like the music right now. It's real nice. Yeah, they do really love healing you after a lot of encounters, which I find to be interesting. Like, I hope if they do do... <laughs> do do. Uh, the Diamond Pearl remakes in this engine, I'm hoping they keep, like, the... difficulty curve on it. Because after beating this, and then I've been playing through Platinum, I've, you know, there's been a couple times I've gone up against, gone up against a couple gym leaders, whether it was, you know weird type misadvantage, or they just had, like, a good set. But I've lost, like, a couple times. And I've actually even gotten through, like, encounters and stuff, where I've only had, like, you know, one or two Pokemon left on my team. It's like, oh! Look at that! Like, actual stakes! Holy crap! Like, so I hope if they follow the line they've been doing with, remake, with remakes, they keep the difficulty just, just right for... Uh, those games. Good job, Jellicent. Took out that mean... That mean, mean... Dibool. Yeah. You know, so maybe they wanted to make it more... <clears throat> this game more accommodating for people, because they, you know, they wanted it to be, you know, a jumping on point for a lot of people, so... Maybe that way... They can... Start to get a little, uh, a little more challenging and stuff with future implementations. I hope that or add add a difficulty mode. 
after beating the game like on default, you just unlock hard mode like in black and white two. Agreed. I think in past games they had ways to help you kind of gauge your own difficulty. I'm surprised he, he uh, lived. Holy crap. I mean, couldn't they just bump up the level cap on everything? So instead of having the default, you have uh, people start off like five. Everyone just is set five levels higher, so stats are just bumped up. Paralyze him. Do it! <laughs> he listened. Good bug. Good Vicavolt. Oh no. Okay, good. It's like Pikachu. <laughs> Snorlax is so fat. If he has any of those weight based attacks, then he spell trouble. The Heavy Slam ain't nothing. Yeah, basically. Do you think if they streamline it because they want to get more people into like competitive play? Swagger rude. Ugh. Do it. I guess you could say if you could describe this game in two words, I guess I would say very accommodating. I feel like that describes a game well that becomes the best selling game on the Switch <laughs> so far. I mean, because usually these games have legs and stay relevant because they, you know, are always used for, like, competitive play in the circuit, so I wonder if they're just trying to get more people involved with that to keep everything, you know, keep business booming. No! A combination is definitely not a bad thing. I definitely feel like Pokemon of any game should be accommodating. 
Oh, nice Nick, there you go. Yeah. So I can see them trying to get a bigger install base for, like, actual tournaments and stuff. Maybe not, like, the, the early ones here, but maybe, like, a year out from now, more people feel inclined to hop into it. What do you got, Nick? Real of boom. Whack it up. Mm, mm. Oh, I have multiple text messages. Nice move, ready to go. The gym stuff is like competitive side. Think of it like in re in, re in re I'm gonna die in universe. Suck it, huh? You're a bitch. Suck it. Suck, 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 suck it. You are bad. I barely tried. None of your guys knocked me out. You suck utter nut sacks. I mean, I guess if you had, a, like, a water-dark team, it might give you a hassle, Nick. Well, you have fire-flying, fire-psychic, fire, 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 fire-ghost. Fire, fire, fire Leon, you're going down. I'm gonna be the king. Give me your dumb hat. Do we need to, like, specify, like, uh... Do we want everyone to specify, like, what generation they'd put their gym in? Would that be better? Let me look up all the water Pokemon. No, I'll, I'll hobble together a team.
Oh, and they do have a whole list. Cool. There are 143 water type Pokemon. Here. Just, this won't take long. Just give me a sec. I'll type it out as I'm going through here. I'm not going to say my team is vi uh, viable in any way, I just, it'll be a team I like, <laughs> basically. What's the point of being a gym leader if you don't like your team? There's so many choices. Oh my god. I'm not doing any legendaries either. Yeah, legendaries are off limits. We'll see. I'm trying to do just a good type coverage. One, I have to like the Pokemon, and two, I like the type coverage. So. I mean, it's a fun challenge to, like, pick a type and then see what you want to go with. Got four so far. Fire is very hard, really. How many fire did you have? Good choice between. Think of it less from a game mechanic standpoint, Sai, and literally just being a gym leader in the world. What would you go with? picks here. Yeah, so as you're picking your team, just pick what region you'd want to be in. Although, I guess if you wanted to be region specific, we're not trying to get too nitty gritty with it. Just pick your six from all the choices and then you could be you could have just gotten the job, you're from out of town, you used to have an assortment of six Pokemon for your gym. So I guess it just depends on how nitty gritty you want to get. Got one more left. One more! Be fun to see if people can pick my team. So I'm basically minus one. I'm trying to avoid just straight up normal, like one water, just a water typing. Calm down, game! You know, get that moving for people.
Or if it is just a singular water type, they have to have like a diverse move set. So like if I had Octillery on my team, he can learn a bunch of different beam moves. So it's pretty versatile. Not he's not on my team right now though. I have one more slot. I'm trying to make sure. Trying to be sure. Because as much as it kills me, I don't have Whale Lord on there. Or, if you guys want to do a different practice, maybe this would help as like an alternate thing to do after choosing your team. Pick one from... Like, you can't have repeats from the same gens, so I would have said, you know, pick one from every gen, but there's eight gens now. So maybe, like, if you pick a team, you can only pick one from each individual gen. That could be fun. Because I think right now my team that I have... Think they're all from different? <laughs> I'm trying to be picky about my last pick here. Also, I'm trying to avoid having, you know. It would kind of be annoying to like see someone like just pick like all the <laughs> have pick a type and then just pick all the starters. So I'm limiting myself. I have two 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 water starters, only because one of them has a really nice typing. Uh... Here. Okay. Here we go. I got it. I might change it eventually, but there we go. Now Blastoise, straight up water, for one with Megas, then he'll be a, a big boy Mega. Primarina, Primarina because water's water fairy. Walrain, water ice, and he's chonky and intimidating. Jellicent, because the water ghost. And I love his mustache. Lantern, electric water. And Sharpedo, water dark. I got I got I got I got some good stuff. Although, I guess if I wanted... See? Now I kind of want to change one. Because I think I'd like to have... A water ground type in there. To avoid someone just coming in and sweeping with electricity. Which, I mean, Lantern helps, but it'd be nice to have another... Like... Maybe swap Sharpedo for... Sharpedo or Jellicent for... Like Wish Cash? Because Wish Cash is water ground, he's pretty good. I like Wish Cash. So. That's my team. I said I might swap out Jellicent or Sharpedo for a Wish Cash instead. Or if we're doing a rule where you can only have one starter, then I'd have to bump out Primarina for Wish Cash, probably. I know yours has two. Mine does too. That's from what I'm trying to say. So Nick, if you had, to, if you could only have one starter, then what would be the Pokemon to replace it? Cause see, that's the tough thing with a themed team is you want type coverage without getting swept. You know. It's like. A grass type could do pretty good against my team. So good electricity. That's why I kinda wanna wish cash in there. Camera ripped? Good choice. I like camera ripped. I 
I mean, Nick, you're only saying water can't because you have solar beam, but what if it's a water grass type? Or a water fire type? Oh, we get to do this part again. Cool. It gets tough, though. Because instead of picking just guys I like with good type spread, I'm kind of like, hmm. So I do like water ground typing. It, gives, it makes you a times four weak to grass, but... It also makes you immune to electricity. And, you're going to assume that most trainers that come in to fight you aren't going to have one type of Pokemon. They're going to have a good spread too, so... Realistically, you only have to worry about one or two of their Pokemon. So... might bump, since I have Sharpedo there already, I might- I would probably bump Jellicent for... Wish Cash. What do you mean, one of Battle to the Death? Nani? Where he starts. So he has the black shades. There he is, because I knew he was against a wall, that was just over there. It depends. Are we playing by game rules or are we playing by in universe rules? You know what I mean? Like you're a real person with the option to switch. You're just in the Pokemon universe running a gym. Like, is it against gym leader rules to swap? You know what I mean? I mean, because the teams we're picking, this would just be like, if we were allowed to be like, you know, <laughs> to use our full team instead of like a, you know, oh, this trainer has this level of badges, so I can only use these Pokemon at this level. Although the more I think about it, the more I think I'd want to be a <laughs> Elite Four member instead. Because then I can use my team to its fullest. I won't have to worry about having like a GIMP team to like switch between. So you'd never use your full team, basically. You were a gym leader. Well, see, that's what I mean. Like, I don't, I don't mind like having a theme for typing. But you can get away with double typing and stuff, but at least you get to like use your team, you know? And you still have like a theme for your room and stuff. 
So I don't know. Well, I feel like in universe it would make sense as like a just a battle rule if uh, people were allowed to only do a certain amount. Like you'd only get like one or two swaps per battle. So people can't just keep, like, both people aren't just constantly turning uh, in and out, because then no, no battles would get done. So I can see there being, like, a switch limit. Gonna hear eventually. Ooh, shiny. Why well, not? That's why I don't want to use the anime as a reference, because the anime is just not realistic to <laughs> how people would battle. <laughs> That's true. So, I don't know. I feel like in universe, people would swap, but there'd be a rule where they can, they're only allowed a limited number of swaps. You think the damage is big enough? Mom, why is so annoying? <laughs> I have a copper jaw. I didn't use copper jaw that entire hop fight. I feel bad. I think everyone else got a turn. Nothing. <laughs> you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Yeah! Earth power, bish. Probably, I mean, shift is the default. <laughs> so the default makes me think that's the intended <laughs> design. But I guess if we're thinking as set, then I guess. I don't know. It's tough to think, because we're trying to think of it in like game rules and anime rules instead of just in universe. These are real people battling rules, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's true. They all have to be, like, thematically the same, otherwise the... It would be too weird. Well, I'm sure when you're asked to become a gym leader, you you uh you're probably given like you know like a manual. They're like, here's how it goes being a gym leader. Here are procedures and policies. Here's how things go. I don't know why I put in Rillaboom. What am I doing? Yeah, not even involved. <laughs> Rillaboom literally has nothing to contribute. Oh my god. Colossal! 
I meant to send out Colossal. <laughs> oh, Heat Crash. Heck yeah. That's true. It's just... I would imagine that gym leaders... They have different sets of Pokemon, right? And then there's a system or something, like some kind of technology, or the trainer themselves tell them, like how many badges that person challenging them has, and they use the appropriate set of team of Pokemon according to the badge number and not, like, the level of the Pokemon, right? That's what it would. So, I mean, if if gym leaders are like a job and there's rules and stuff, then they're probably using like a tier system based on badges. So there's nothing to do if this person just comes in. They have two badges, but they've maxed out their entire team to 99. You know, <laughs> they're just gonna wreck shop because they're they're <laughs> they're out grinding procedure. <laughs> Yeah. I guess it would depend if they did it like Sai said, how the fire guy won't even uh, touch you until you get the other two. But I have heard uh, in other regions it's kind of tackle it as you want. I mean, because when we fight Brock in Pokemon Red and Blue, that's not his best team. <laughs> he knows he's usually like the... At least, I don't know, I feel like Brock probably has, like, I guess it's kind of addressed in gold, because then, you, you know, you fight everybody with their weaker teams in red and blue, and then you go back post-game in gold, and then they all have, like, more, more accurate representations of their teams. Agreed, Sai. I mean, cause the gym challenge is just to test the trainer to see if they have the qualifications to even <laughs> even attempt the, the Pokemon League. I mean, if it was their goal to just squash anybody, then everyone would just be using their maxed out teams right away. So then all these poor kids with like level 10 Pokemon would be like just demolished. Which would be interesting, though, if the region did that, because then you'd have all these challengers that are at probably in their 20s at least. Like, they spent like a good decade training up their team because they had to. That would be interesting, to age everybody up that way. It's only their signature. Yeah. That's true. Gee, welcome. Thanks, mister. I'll have to try the inviting them. I didn't do that my first playthrough. Why do you regret playing Shield? I kind of wish I played Shield. They get the better exclusives and the better gym leaders. Ghost type gym is your bane. Really? Interesting, how come? I mean, this this region doesn't have an Elite Four. 
it has a champion in a tournament, <laughs> which is more like the anime. Oh, that makes sense, Sai. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I see why they didn't do an Elite Four in this, because it doesn't make sense. But... I still miss it. Seeing an Elite Four in this engine would have been real cool. <laughs> right? I was like, I feel like no a is getting crushed by a Ghost Gym. That's another reason why I want the Diamond and Pearl remake, because then, you know, then I'll have a proper Elite Four and Champion and stuff. And I actually like Diamond and Pearl's Elite Four. I and Cynthia, of course, like I've said a million times, is my favorite Pokemon champion. Uh... Like, I love that they have an old lady that's just an ground type Pokemon. It's great. <laughs> I think that Elite Four is Bug Ground Psychic Fire? I'm wrong. I, I know, I'm pretty sure there's Bug Ground and Fire. I just can't remember the fourth one. Like the fourth type. Because I haven't got there yet. Like, I'm, all, I'm on my way to the Pokemon League and Platinum right now. Yeah, I love how these people just move aside. Like, oh, you're being a Pokemon event off? There's only some way as me, an adult, a huge adult, could restrain you guys. If only there was some way. Japan loves the uh, elevator wave based <laughs> motif. I feel like. I feel like I've done like an elevator gauntlet thing like a million times. It's funny to see it in a Pokemon game. I also don't know why they don't just leave them on the elevator and lock all the doors. Did gym leaders in X and Y use Mega Evolutions? Well, I guess the f the fighting gym leader did, right? On the roller skates? She Mega Evolved Lucario? It's been a while since I played X and Y also. It's been like... Two years? Five battles per round, before you make Leon, it's always Leon. I'd really kind of cool say if uh, it was different champions or elite four members or gym leaders at the end of every five generic guy battles, that'd be pretty cool. Incinerate hits both. <laughs> Brings him to Bull and does a body slam. Get out of here. I can't believe that 
Hop went into the tournament with Pokemon under level 50. That's just absurd. Thanks, didn't the... The Battle Tree had a bunch of different people, right? In Black and White 1 and 2, they had a bunch of returning gym leaders and champions and stuff to fight in like a tournament format. Post game splice putting gym leaders in the post game battle area. Oh, interesting. That's fair to say. children. Do you have an insurance policy? I'm still trying to send a final play through Pokemon Emerald next. Did I ever beat like, the Battle Frontier as a kid? Or go back and revisit Black and White 2 because I think I only beat that game once or twice. And, you know, every few years it's good to Go through games and get a new perspective on them, see if your tastes have changed. Ops Pokemon should have the fighting stomp move that Dabool learns, and that would make this fight, like, way faster, instead of just using Body Slam all the time. On steel Pokemon. Yeah, the UI wasn't bad. I remember liking the UI. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Black and White 1. Like, I replayed it three or four years ago on ROM. And, uh... It's the first time I played it, I did not like it at all, really. Uh, but then I went through and I played it. I'm like, it's decent. It's still my least favorite Pokemon game, but it's still good. But then Black and White 2 came out, and I gave it a chance, and I actually like Black and White 2. It definitely feels like they made some good changes with pacing and stuff. Also, by the way, I'm excited, thanks to Kent Kentaperme, they, sh they showed me that the new Mystery Dragon is available on Monster Hunter, so I'm excited to go try out his Repel Quest tomorrow. See how that goes. This game had the worst multiplayer connection? You can fight fight him now? It's not just repel. Just repel. Yeah. Get dust of life for it. So you can't like make any gear from him or anything yet. So I hear that they're wanting to add like his hunt soon. So I'm wondering if I should just wait until his hunt is available, so I can do his repel and then do his hunt, farm the gear, killing me, Hop, You're killing me with this body slam nonsense. Well, I mean, through Wi-Fi, I feel like the choppiest was probably when they introduced it with what Diamond and Pearl. Introduce the Wi the Wi-Fi, or was it earlier?
Oh, got ya. Yeah. I don't know why they did codes. Maybe because they want you to interact with everybody, but if you wanted to specifically interact with a friend, just do a code. I feel like Nintendo loves their codes. Friend codes, trading codes, it's just a Nintendo thing, I feel like. They don't want like proper like friends lists, they just want a code. I think it's a Nintendo thing. I don't know. I was reading the Reddit, the Monster Hunter Reddit, and people are saying that they're hope they were thinking that they're gonna add that dragon's hunt soon. So I'm kind of wanting to wait until that quest is available, so I can you know do the repel quest as like an intro to him, then farm his gear. So. So if he if his actual hunt gets released here soon enough, then I'll just wait and I'll start Code Vein tomorrow. Probably say. I mean, it doesn't work bad. Like ninety-eight percent of the time, I've been able to connect to your guys' stuff, so. Oh, cool. Well, then I'll have to do Stygian, too, even though I don't want to. <laughs> Stygian's cool and all, I just... If... Stygian, Stygian. I know you said he has new stuff, but it's just like... Oh, cool. Well, there we go. We'll do all three. And that'll make for a couple streams. <laughs> it's better than me checking it out now and getting like an hour and a half or two hours of content. <laughs> Need to chill, lady. Heat Crash would demolish. Oh, uh, good old double team. Do you guys prefer uh, Cross Lass or. Uh, uh, why am I blanking on his name? I just talked about him today. Oh, is that our <laughs> official name on our license, say? <laughs> or Glavier? Milotic. She is a good team. Milotic, huh? Let's roll Mega Volt. Glaceon? What? Really? No. Glaceon is Ice Eevee. I meant like of the Snow Rent Evolve stage. Glalie. His name's Glalie. There we go. Frostlass or Gray uh, or Glalie. There we go. I got there. That's okay. We got there. It took too much effort, but we got there, Nick. I like Milo too. It'd be fun to have one on my team one day. Still never had a Milo tick on my team. I mean, I remember back in the day. Gen 3, I'm like, oh my god, they got a girl Gyarados? That's dope. That's impossible, almost, to get freaking Feebass. It's so annoying. So 
Lanzel. Thanks, Nick. Ugh. I really need to change how Salazzle stands. It's very weird. Mm, Smackdown. Ooh, he had a Dragon Pulse waiting. Ooh. Smackdown! At least she's got a good moveset. This Salazzle. Some poison, some dragon, I'm sure some dark and fire. Poison fire, right? Yeah. I guess he does, cutie! Hello! Serena. Who the fuck is Serena? <laughs> I'm still not familiar with all the new names! be a job for, well, Colossal, but, do Corviknight, I'm give Colossal a break here, <laughs> thank you cutie, appreciate it, Freaking attract. God, I like attract, but it's real annoying to fight against. <laughs> oh, we got through! Oh, dang it. So close. <laughs> I've never seen that move before. Oh, I hate you. Come on. We got through. Woo! Good, good kitty. And a work went by fast, thankfully, and it wasn't too busy. Wrapping up Pokemon today. Got some exciting Monster Hunter content to do in the future, and tomorrow we're starting Code Vein. Plus, I get my free check tomorrow with my Christmas bonus, so I'm very excited. Who did you? <laughs> Dang it! I didn't see who she was gonna switch. Oh, really, kitty? Oh, no. Do it, Zach. Ooh. I don't... I don't know who they chose. <laughs> We're gonna keep Corvin item. What do I get for reading chat? Garbador! Oh. I haven't used Brave Bird yet. Let's do it.
good enough. Right, cutie. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what people think of it, just from like a watching standpoint. He's poison, right? Flying moves aren't effective against. Uh, let's pay back him and see what happens. Did this thing? That's good. Going all in! Brave bird, baby! He tanked it again. What a champ. Oh my god, he clutched it! Wow! Too bad he took himself out. Wonder if he gets the credit before the damage. Nope. Oh, what a waste of XP. Good job, Corviknight. You deserve that XP. I like to think she's Russian, too. Especially with the name of Oleana. <laughs> He's loving me. So did he get arrested? <laughs> or did he just get replaced? He's gonna stay in a nice hotel. No, oh, Jess is home. <laughs> I'm a good league staffer. Starts with. I guess we can lead with Colossal. Already saved. A GMX raid? Oh, nice. Against what? How you doing? 
Your sister texted me. Really? Yeah, she's like, Jess is warming up a car, can you have her or you text me when she gets home? Okay, thanks. <sighs> I think the second time she's done it before. So yeah, give her a text, let her know you're uh, alive. I did. I did, though. Did ya? Yes, I did. What's up? <sighs> you missing you've been missing a lot of good uh, nerdy commentary. Yeah. Now we've been talking about gyms and if you had a gym, what type would you do and who would you have and all that stuff. Would you try and do just strictly dark type, or would you do like dark and blah, or dark and blah, you know, kind of get a point spread going? It'd probably be dark in whatever the type the particular Pokemon is. Fair enough, fair enough. So good pool night? Yeah, I would eat all, so that's nice. Yeah, good job. Now on, so. Have I'm gonna to. Win this one. Well, I'm a level one now in nine ball. That's. You're level one in nine ball? I'm level one now. Oh no! I went down. Poor honey. <laughs> it doesn't really surprise me. Wait, you're better at nine ball than eight ball. <laughs> but, but you are! <laughs> I haven't played very much eight yet, which is why I have to play it. <laughs> Some kid named Wayne. <laughs> Wait for cutie! Alright, cool. We got a good squad here. Be beefy, beefy, beefy boy squad. <sighs> what was that? <laughs> oh, it's like, it's pungent. What is that? Oh, it's the legacy. <laughs> Alky Hall! <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why she texted me. I didn't drink that much, but. Too much sip sip jazz? It's probably the last drink I had before I left. I wouldn't drive if I didn't take a kid. It's a G Max Norlax, I mean. I don't blame you, Sai. Go get that, that the biome of a Pokemon. No, you're fine.
fun. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why it took me a little bit longer. Because I don't know all the ways to get to Margarita. I don't know, Kyoya. What attack do you use? Good. Tree shakes! Snorlax, oh my god. You need help, my friend. You're an island. Sure. You can get this lower stage. Or you can get that stage. Mm-hmm. Steel type move on a. Oh, it's a fairy. Is it fairy type? Nice. Little pyro ball. Nice. Yeah, this person brought up a mud prey to a, an Eldegoss fight. Oh my god, is that six? Woo! Just grass? Why are you using steel? I got you. What do you mean it failed? Why did my fire move fail? What? It didn't even miss, it just said it failed. Why? Because there's like a grass garbage thing up? I don't understand. Maybe I should have went Corbinite. At least you got a hit there. But I'm not trying to do status, I'm just trying to do a fire move. To do incinerate. This thing loves getting the speed down, good lord. doing a status move, I'm doing a fire offensive move. So why am I failing? Try heat crash. Oh no, more trees near the island. Try and see if a uh, heat crash does anything. Really, sign? Yep. <laughs> nope. I'll sit here and just keep contributing nothing. see my dialogue? It literally said, it shook its head and it seems like it can't use this move. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? All my attacks aren't doing anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. 
This game is like not letting me do anything. I don't understand. I don't have any status moves, I have offensive moves. God, I actually got a hit off. I think you're uh, Cinderace cutie. Thank you. I mean, it wasn't causing you any issue. I mean. <laughs> GG. Good raid.
Hit right kitty, yeah. Freaking cotton down. That's fair, Nick. Let's go! Now we're gonna wait for Iceborne Game God when uh, we're allowed to fight the new Mystery Dragon. You can only repel him for now, so I want to be able to make gear out of him. So once he's... That should be soon, too. So once he's officially, like, huntable, like, you know, farmable, we'll uh, do all that. But tomorrow we're starting uh, Code Bane. If I knew my fire attacks would randomly have no effect for no reason, I would have gone with Corviknight. Maybe, Nick. That's the first time I've ever seen that. It was so weird. He should be able to sweep this team. So close. <laughs> mm. I was almost worried. I was like, oh no, Rapidash. But I'm like, wait, it's Galarian Rapidash. We're okay. Isn't it funny how one steel Pokemon can be just Beat's worst nightmare? 
<laughs> Not anymore, cutie. Now it's dead beauty. <laughs> Sorry, cutie. <laughs> No, damn it. I chose the wrong move. I'm sorry, cutie. Forgive me. You can have my ad money back. My uh, 0. 0.0002 cents. thing. I mean, I'm gonna keep most of the blood money side, but you know, I'll, I'll send a penny or two you guys this way. Keep it on the up and up. That guy there keep on winning. Water bug versus electric bug. Oh yeah. Ooh, good choice. But not good enough. <laughs> I do like Billy's speed though. I think his name. <laughs> seeking, I like seeking. He's kind of dirty. It's weird that he has like vampire teeth.
too easy, bruh. A Vigavolt, uh, rockin'. <laughs> rockin' that booty. Even with not all the not being OP over leveled, it's still pretty uh <laughs> pretty simple. Wow, he moved first. That's funny. I like Pelipper. It's a cool Pokemon. Or Vickavolt. Bird on bird. If he gets knocked out, I'll use a max revive. Speed advantage, get a heal going. I like Brave Bird, that's a cool move. She really likes this Pelipper. She wants it to live as much as possible. Really, boom would be perfect for that. That times four damage. Big boy giant fight. version of Dreadnought. He's cool.
Oh, there we go. Piers. Thank you, cutie. Thank you, thank you. So any fun plans for everybody for the weekend? Coming up here? Oh, fun, cutie. You guys gonna decorate it too? Make sure to have a hot cocoa for me, cutie. You don't like hot cocoa? Oh no! Uh, warm cider? Like apple cider? That's fair. I prefer cold over hot. Fine then. Have, have, have a delicious favorite drink of yours. options. It's ice beam them. Rude. Finish with a dazzling gleam. See which one does better. I got you covered both ways, kid. It's definitely ice beam. me game. Don't cuck me. Or fetch. Yeah. 
Looks like that'd be an interesting battle to see. Permanent flying around everywhere and then him trying to play defensive. Pretty cool. What a weird Pokemon. Good pick. Oh, Vic of what you're so close. <laughs> I like Grapple Lock, he's cool. <laughs> you played yourself. Go get my champ out here. He's hoping he can tank for a hit. I figured it would be faster than Monchamp. Ooh, we tanked it. Brave boy. Oof. Oof. I wonder what normal... I wonder what fire-type movie has. Oh yeah, good call, cutie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Bye! I forget how long the tournament is. It's like eight battles or something. Not eight. What, six battles? Marnie, Hop, Bead, Nessa, B, Champion. So six. Yeah. No, oh, Raihan, Champion. So yeah, seven battles.
Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Wish we could change our uniform though. It's so weird that everyone isn't coming in with like a full team of six. We're gonna go to fight Leon, the unbeatable champion. You're rolling with five Pokemon. to hit it right away because it's drought yeah nice oof gonna hit too bad though <laughs> I love Turkle's uh, cloud effect too that little plume the texturing inside there is funny Jellison, you're a G. Mods, Nick, ban this bot, please. Oh, I should be using freaking Dazzling Gleam. Whoops. Oh, you toughed it out, you piece of beauty. Reason. Oh, we toughed it out. I love you, Jellison. I had such a specific bot. <laughs> oh no, he paralyzed me. Oh, that is so clutch. If he actually didn't get paralyzed there and actually got to attack him after jumping out, that would've been dope. See, so whenever I need Nick to... As soon as it hits 1 o'clock, Nick is just out. Oh, that's so lame. Beaten Guder already. My guy toughed it out, but he got paralyzed. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I don't know who to use. There's like no one else that's good against Gudra. Yeah, I can just deal with the 
family stuff. Oh, that's right, I have Play Rough. Dude, I'm getting real fucking sick of this bitch. Fucking getting lucky on these fucking paralyzes. I'm getting really fucking sick of it. What have fucking beaten this piece of fucking shit Gudra five minutes ago? I don't use revives and stuff. I try to battle it the way it is. I try to do revives and healing, it's boring. It's not fun if I just cheat. <laughs> For me, healing would be banned mid-fight. Yep, basically. There's no random full restores. Other shit. <laughs> Gudra. Fucking ruined everything, dude. Fucking ruined everything. Oh, because he kept getting lucky fucking paralyzes. It pisses me off, dude. So whenever I use Thunder, I never get paralyzes. But he gets it, like, three times in one battle. See, he gets a crit, too. I bet you I <laughs> It's just fucking shit. Finally a game, yes. Please, let me actually, uh, do things. I'm fine, I just get fucking annoyed when I'm clutching Gudra here and then he just gets two lucky paralysis on me. So it's not strategy that he's winning with, it's luck. <laughs> Vigavolt and <laughs> my elephant. Like, full health, no paralysis if my, uh, fucking Jellicent didn't get, you know, paralyzed when he toughed it out at 1 HP. So I'd be up two Pokemon at this point if he didn't get lucky paralysis. Oh well. This is what I, this is what I want. I want tougher, closer battles. Mm -hmm. The 
thing Colossal is just tanky as balls. Oh, he had a fighting move saved up. Nice. <laughs> Not good enough. Yeah, it's true, Nick. We did it. That was actually a good match. I like Rangham. He's a good team. His Gudra almost MVP'd it for him. He sees a good sport about it. I'm sure Leon was getting bored too. Being undefeated for a decade. I'm not trying to like even them out, I'm just trying to get these 57s up. That'll still be okay. This will be a bit of a challenge. Just wanted to get rid of those candies and have a couple level 60s. It should make it more even. I think, still think everybody on his team is higher than me. So. Let's go become champion. We oui, we oui, champion.
<laughs> Thanks, game guy. So out of all the champions in all the Pokemon games, who do you guys think would be, like, the ultimate champion? That's right, we gotta cancel it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so annoying. I forgot. Screw you, Rose. For what game, Cutie? I mean, Shop Titans? Oh. Well, Nick, let's just say if they had a Champions Tournament, you couldn't do... Z moves, Mega Evolutions, or Gigantamaxing. Like, based on just pure Pokemon skill. Steven? Well, see, there's two champions in Gen 3, Nick. There's Steven, and then there's uh, Wallace. Because in Sapphire and Ruby, it's Steel type trainer Steven, and in Emerald, it's Wallace that kind of swap. Yeah, no gimmick ability, no gimmicks or anything, Sai. It's just based off the trainer and their team. So no, no Mega Evolution, no Z moves, no. Gigantamaxing. You think Gary is the strongest game guy?
No, not not rivals. Like people that have officially, when you fight them, they're they're a champion. So it'd be, you know, I guess it'd be blue in game, but blue slash Gary for Pokemon Red and Blue, and then would it be Lance for? Well, I guess it would be red and gold and silver. And then Steven, Steven slash Wallace in Gen 3, Cynthia in Gen 4, uh, Alder, and uh, Little little Dragon Girl in Gen 5, uh, French actress champion lady from X and Y. Uh, I guess there's no... I guess you would say the professor for Sun and Moon? Since technically your character is the first official champion, but that doesn't count. <laughs> you fought the professor for the championship, so I guess he would be that pick. And then Leon. So I think that would be all the... He did. But we're just gonna say that every champion's Pokemon, level 100, they're all in a champion's tournament, everyone is level 50 or level 100, no gimmicks. Who wins? Who's the best trainer? I feel like Lance would get out pretty fast, <laughs> now that we have fairy types. team is still a good spread without Gigantamaxing. He's got good type coverage. I mean, for the most part. Well, I mean, he has a Steel Ghost with Aegislash. He has Dragapult, who's a Dragon Coast. He has Hexterus, which is Dragon. He has a Seismitoad, which is Water Ground. He has Cinderace, which is Fire. And then he has Charizard, which is Fire Flying. It's not like a... He's got a decent team. And it's not like his Charizard is bad without Gigantamaxing. Do all the other champions? I don't even think all the other champions have six Pokemon. We'd have to look it up. Um, why wouldn't we have the starter? <laughs> If he can't have the starter, then he gets another fire Pokemon, and that's not then. Once I get out of this dumbass forest, I'll look up a list of the other champions Pokemon. I don't think all the other champions have a full six. Or we can just give him Rillaboom, because he already has a water ground, and he has 
fire Pokemon also, so if you want to do process of elimination through type coverage, say he has Rillaboom. Or you can give him a Ditto, I guess. first one. Oh, where's this team? Bulbapedia, why? Why would you not let me be able to click on... be able to look at the teams. First up. We have red or I guess. It's so hard trying to see this freaking keyboard. So you have Champion Blue, and he's like Leon, where technically his final slot is a start uh, a starter. So I'll, I'll post uh, links in chat so people can follow along here. I'm just gonna scroll down because each of these will feature the Elite Four and then the Champion at the end. But Champion Blue, he's got. Pidgeot, normal flying, he's got a psychic out of Kazam, he's got a grounded rock right on. He's got uh, Arcanine, he's got a Gyarados, and then he has one of the three starters. And I feel like for type coverage, well, I guess it depends on the team, because you could also have Exeggutor instead of a. Uh, I'd like to think he'd have the Charizard team. So he's got a—he's actually got a really solid team. Try and do both things at the same time. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? That team, so we'll give him Charizard, we'll give him that Charizard team. I think it's technically it's I'm gonna say it's two because at the end of the Elite Four 
Uh, it's Lance, but technically the true endgame champion is is Red, so I'll... Man, freaking... Maybe eat four for... Silver and Gold is awesome. I love that Koga got promoted. It's so, it's so great. <laughs> So for Lance, I feel like Lance would go out fast because he has three Dragonites and now we have Fairy Typing. But he's got a Gyarados, he's got an Aerodactyl, he's got a Charizard, and he's got three Dragonites. So I think right now between Lance and <laughs> Blue, Blue would be winning right now. And then... Trainer Red. This is his team. No! Red is absolutely a champion. Lance is only there filling in for him because he's wandering around. He's still technically the champion. I'm doing it. Throwing it in there. Throwing it in there! Red. If Blue's in there, Red's in there. And he's got a good team. He's got the basic B anime team. Minus Espeon. because according to Bulbapedia and other websites, they are both considered. Because Lance is the interim champion and Red is the true champion until uh, he returns. Gen 3 would be Steven and Wallace. It's not current champs, it's if you've been a champ and faced the champ in the game. It's not like this is all happening at the same time. This game takes place over, this entire series takes place over like a decade. Gen 3 is late for. Freaking Drake, what a G. Just kind of bummed he has uh, two Flygons. I feel like it could have fit in another Dragon type. He got a Shellgon in there too.
Steven's team is pretty baller, honestly. Uh, did I link it? I did. Okay. Steven's team is pretty awesome. It's got Skarmory, Cladle, Agron, Cradley, Armaldo, Metagross. So he's got like a steel theme throughout, but he's also kind of kind of like a rocks mix. This is like the perfect thing I was talking about like being like a gym leader or like a late form member or something. It's like you got like a general theme, but you got like all this like crossover. This might be my favorite champion team so far as we're looking through these. It's probably tournament style. It'd probably be it's randomly drawn and set up into a bracket. Uh, of course, this is Ruby and Sapphire, but Emerald has a different champion. Because in Ruby and Sapphire, uh, the eighth gym, real eighth gym leader is Wallace, but in uh, Emerald, Wallace is the champion. So I'll throw him in too. Is my game frozen? It's frozen. Oh. That's great. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> right at the end. Oh, cool. 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 That makes me want to keep going. Have to restart the stream. <sighs> True. I'm not ending the stream. I have to beat this game. <laughs> I can't. If someone's watching this playthrough on YouTube, I can't just be like, oh, sorry. Alright, I'll be back in a second. I'll post Wallace's link while I'm rebooting up.